Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new tutorial on how to get force torches in Darkcraft. Uh, not actually force torches, but time torches. Uh, these torches can pretty much control time. If you, uh, I can get one and plunk it down, you can see by right clicking on it, you can change the mode of them. And this pretty much, uh, uh, you can either slow down or increase the tick rate of the surrounding uh, blocks around it. I think it's like 6 by 6 around it, uh, something like that. But you can see if I place down a mob, just spawn, uh, just spawn a creeper, you can see that it'll start running around quite a lot faster <laughs> than I just saw there. And yeah, this thing is insanely overpowered. If you just get a bunch of them and then put them next to a... Uh, let me just change the difficulty down. Where is it? Uh, uh, I don't even know. Difficulty zero. There we go. Um, so yeah, uh, this is really OP with the magic crops because oh wait, that's not. I need a this menu. Magic crops. So magic crops. No, it is not magic crops. I spelled that wrong. God damn it. <laughs> Magic crops. There we go. So, is that still wrong? I don't know. Okay, but well, pretty much Magic crops is they have special seeds which makes you grow ores pretty much. You can grow diamonds, tin, gold, lapis, uh, ender pearls. You can make, what is this? Ender bricks, I think. Uh, but you can pretty much just make every single thing in the game with these things and my game just froze but if you have an ender uh, magic crops field what is this uh, magical crops if you have a field of this you can pretty much just get anything you want in about half an hour like thousands of diamonds in half an hour <laughs> and it is insanely OP and I'm going to show you how to uh, do that so yes let's get started because that was a very long intro so uh, this uses the mod Darkcraft, and you're going to first want to collect a bunch of this power ore, or nether ore, whatever. Uh, pretty much when you mine it, you get this force gem, and force gems are used to make a bunch of stuff. Not everything, but you're going to need them. So, yeah. Uh, what you're going to want to do, I'm just going to take these out because I forgot to, but uh, what you're going to want to do first is make a force infuser which is just an enchantment table oh yeah wait I have to <laughs> okay force rod first thing force rod so to make that is a force ingot a stick and a force nugget now force ingots are made by if you go to if you just press R on it and then go right and then press left uh, you can see that is one force gem uh, ferrous ingot nickel lead and you can use all these different things silver, steel, dart, iron, bronze. This is just because there's a bunch of mods in this. And gold, iron. And this will make a couple of uh, force ingots depending on what ingot you use. So gold will give you three, iron will give you two, and so on. You don't have to care about this mob ingot. I don't, I don't even know what the hell that is. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <clears throat> so depending on what ingot you use, you'll get more forcing it uh, so just make just make a bunch of those because those are what you use to make these force tools so once you've made uh, some forcing it's you can put them together with a stick oops, uh, a force ingot and a force nugget and what that will give you is a force rod and this is used in a bunch of different crafting recipes but you can see that it doesn't really have a lot of durability left so what you can either do is uh, use this a couple times to make uh, I think it has two uses so you can make use it to make your force infuser and then your upgrade tome uh, but then it'll break or you can get a bunch of force gems you've gathered press V and then toss them in there and uh, you can see it used them up and to put them in here and then you can see your force rod now has full uh, durability I guess and that is you can pretty much just recharge your force rod 
so you don't have to make a new one every single time and it's pretty nice so once you have your force rod you can now just make yourself an enchantment table pretty basic minecraft and yeah you'll get your force infuser and force infusers are what you need for everything pretty much and you're going to need a source of power which I completely forgot about so let me just quickly get a uh, are windmills in this? I think they are uh, wind turbine? yeah so let's just quickly did that work? I think it did yeah so you're gonna need power for this and also you're gonna need force gems so just toss force gems in this and you'll see it'll fill up with liquid force and then next you're going to need a book and your f and a force rod and that will make your very own upgrade tome now this is what base uh, the higher your tier is you can see it says tier one uh, the more enchantments you can do and if you click info in the top right you can see there is some blacked out uh, silhouettes of different items and you need these to upgrade your tome and they also whenever you use them they add enchantments to your um, tools so I don't know if that made sense but yeah let's just start um, enchanting some tools because you need a tier 3 upgrade tome to make uh, time torches so yes let's begin um, first thing uh, in the first tier you're going to need sugar, claw, force log, and force nuggets. Force nuggets are just made by forcing it so you get none of them. Uh, force logs. Now those are new. To make a force log you're going to need a force rod and a sapling and then you just put them together and you get a force sapling and then you can just plonk it down on some dirt. Bone meal it. I think it usually only takes one bone meal. And then you get a nice beautiful golden tree. Yes pretty nice. So that is how you just cut it down and you get four logs from it. Uh, yeah. So four logs. And then claw, I believe they just drop off mobs and then sugar is just sugar cane. So that's that. Let's just get a couple of these. Uh, let's just get, there we go. So yes, let's start. So the first thing, you can just go in order uh, from what I do, but Force, uh, force sword, claw, and it's not going to be instant for you. It's going to, oh, sorry about that. It's going to take a couple of seconds to make each one. You can see this bar will slowly go up if you're not creative. But yeah, so force sword, first thing, and you can see when we do that, we got 30 force points, and the next two is going to take 66. And pretty much whenever you do a new enchantment on this, like the claw did damage, uh. You get 30 force points, but if you do it again, I believe you only get like two. So, <laughs> yeah, you wanna, yeah, you get five. I think it goes down for every tier, but you wanna make sure you do new things because it upgrades you a lot, lot, <laughs> a lot faster. So yeah, do I even have pickaxes in this? I don't. I just realized that you need a you need a bunch of force pickaxes. Uh, so let's get like five. There we go. All right. So sword done. Uh, you're going to need another sword and a force nugget, and this gives you knockback. And then next thing is a pick and sugar. This will put speed on your tools. And then the last thing, force log and an axe, and this gives you lumberjack. So if you go into a survival, you can just oh, is this it? Yeah. Put that down and boink. Everything drops down. Oh, it dropped a force nugget, that's odd. But yes, lumberjack, that's helpful. With speed, makes a good axe. Um, so I believe that's enough for, yeah. So now you can see we're tier two, and we already have 125 force points. So it doesn't take too long to upgrade. But now, when you click the info page, you can see that there are more uh, silhouettes of things that you have to do before you can upgrade to tier three. So yeah, let's get those don't need these anymore I don't think and you're going to pick up these ones just get these okay so let's arrange my inventory just a little bit toss these in there all right now next things first this info that's just lapis and a lapis I'm just looking at my notes lapis and shears this is odd but lapis and shears gives you rainbow 
and rainbow is kind of interesting if you get sheep uh, spawn sheep and when you shear it you'll get a random color of wool off of it so yeah if you have a sheep farm you just need some random wool just yeah this is good so that's lapis and you can see we unlocked it now and then next one is fortune not paper don't try paper uh, this is fortune and pretty much how to make a fortune is you eat a fortune cookie and when you eat one of these you get a fortune and to make a fortune cookie is just a cookie and paper and that's wheat and cocoa beans so yeah fortune you can open them up read them I don't know what that means body by sky by sycamore sure whatever <laughs> uh, fortune and a pickaxe gives you uh, you guessed it fortune uh, so yeah that's pretty easy to guess and then next thing what is next uh, that that is a backpack upgrade and you're going to need a force pack which I also don't have I'm not ready for this force let's see oh god um, where is this force bag there so force packs are able to be upgraded every tier and starting on tier 2 so if you make one of these which is four forcing its four leather and a chest um, it only starts out with eight slots but if you're a high tier they're alright I still don't think they're the best but um, if you put a force pack upgrade which is wool leather and forcing it into there with it you will see that it is 16 slots now so every tier you can add a force pack upgrade which will give it eight more slots so it's alright I wouldn't say it's the best but that's the bag and then the next three things flint snow cookie and a bottle of enchanting so flint um, if you put it on a pickaxe you'll see it gives you grinding now I have to get out of creative for this but grinding pretty much turns things like cobble into sand and then it will turn like gravel into a into flint I think things like that it's pretty much like putting it into a macerator or whatever it's called I'm thinking build craft or whatever the mod is I don't know but that's what grinding does it's interesting I don't I haven't really used it that much but yes that is flint and next is snow cookie this is just by putting a snowball in your inventory and you get a snow cookie you can eat them um, but I don't, I don't know what they do <laughs> honestly but if uh, the effect is pretty cool if you get a force sword or bow you can put it in there and you get freezing out of it now freezing I believe just freezes your enemies oh <laughs> whoops I'm gonna need a stronger enemy let's just get an enderman this is gonna be very loud but I think this oh uh, wow this is a very bad tutorial okay there see you can see those it doesn't really work on enderman but it's supposed to freeze them in place so yeah it's cool it's good with bows because you can freeze it and then after you freeze it you can just keep hitting it with a bow because they can't move <laughs> but anyway that's no cooking the last thing is bottle of enchanting which is interesting I'd say they're made by an any enchanted book and a force rod. Now, if you press R enchanted book, you can see you get this uh, book and emerald, which gives you flim flam. Now, I looked up what flim flam was, and it is pretty much a thing. If uh, I think it's like if a player hits you or you hit a player with it, um, on if you like enchant a sword with it, it gives them bad luck, and pretty much. If you just look up what Flim Flam is, uh, the enchanted enchantment, uh, it can sometimes like throw them up 128 blocks in the air and put a platform under them so they're just stuck up there. And it can like drop random things from the inventory and stuff like that. So it's it's a good trolley uh, enchantment and it slowly decreases over time like uh, how often it does it and the severity of the punishment <laughs> but it seemed pretty fun I haven't actually tested it out but yeah that's what flim flam is so if you want, if you just want an easy enchantment book just get a book in emerald uh, 
well, I won't say easy, emeralds are kind of annoying to get, but, yeah. So if you just get a, uh, bottle enchanting, like that, force rod in enchantment book, and then put it on, what is it, a book, yes, that's what it is, and you will get a, I can't click the button, experience tome. Now these pretty much store your experience, so if I just go like this a bunch of times, you can hold right click, or, no, no, how do I do it? There, shift right click, and you can see you store it in here, and then you can right click again, and you get all of it back, so it's a pretty easy way, if you don't want to die and lose everything, you can just put them into this book, and I think it stores unlimited levels, which is pretty cool, and you can just put the book in the chest and not care about it for a while and then put your keep putting your experience in it and yeah if you need to enchant anything oh yeah just as a heads up you need one level to enchant something in this so yeah I forgot to mention that at the beginning but that's how you do it now you can see we are tier 3 which means we can make the time torches which I'm going to do just toss all that crap away and we are going to make these torches now you're going to need a bunch of clocks one clock for each torch and a bunch of yellow force torches which is made by a force stick and a golden power source golden power source is made oh those are done smelting but pretty much a force log in a furnace and i just put a block of coal under there but the force log uh, once it's smelted, turns into this golden power source, which it, you can then use with four sticks, and you get six torches for each, so I just made a crap load of torches, but yeah, oh crap, there we go, clock. Now you can just put some, a torch in there, a clock in there, and you'll see we get a time torch, yes, these things are the best, <laughs> so you can just keep going. And take that out, put that in. It's going to create it so it's uh, kind of instant. But yeah, you can just keep doing this and you get a ton of time torches. And then pretty much you rule the world and have every single thing in the world. And yeah. <laughs> and also these stack, which is even more OP. So if you go like this, that means it'll run hyper times nine. <laughs> so. Yeah, this can pretty much, in about 30 seconds, give you, like, five stacks of diamond essence. So, yeah. You're going to be rich after you make time torches. And you can also use this in a mob uh, mob farm and things like that. So these things are very helpful and pretty much makes you win. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial to get time torches. It was pretty lengthy. Uh kind of messed up on a bunch of stuff but i hope you we got there in the end so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye